Make sure to be a member on the channel, link is in the description. Hello guys, once again it's Matt and after the F14 video that I did, uh, sorry for not testing it out that too much because the servers are weird right now, but uh, if I can I will test it out. And let's take a look on other stuff that were at, was added in the game. Uh, as you see the F14, amazing aircraft. Uh, there are some features. Uh, first of all, let's talk about the American ones. So, uh, all the F4s in the game and all the MiG-23s and MiG-27s received the custom loadout options. And, yeah, you can actually do these, man. You can actually take six AIM-7Fs together with, uh, with, yeah, come on, uh, with four AIM-9s, as you see. It's kind of glitchy right now, so I don't think you will be able to carry the AIM-9s together with the AIM-7s. Uh, probably not. Probably the the aim sevens. You have to choose between uh, four aim sevens and four aim nines, or six aim sevens. And to be honest, with the performance of an aim aim nine G, I probably take the aim sevens <laughs> because they're just amazing, you know. But yeah, the F four J have the the ability to do that. Let's check the F five. I don't think he has it. No. Uh, and the F four E. Uh, it's another aircraft that receive it. Uh, let's talk about the F four C first. Uh, yeah, the FRC as well can receive that, so you can actually choose what you want to do, and you can, I don't know, man, let's, like, let's try to be really crazy here. M7, 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 M9E, bombs and bombs, and let's, let's make sure, uh, where is it? And yeah, look at this. <laughs> this is kind of crazy, but you can do some really weird stuff with this. And pretty cool, pretty cool. And the, aim, uh, the FRE received the ability to carry six Mavericks, finally. Yeah, I was talking about this a um, couple of days ago. And yeah, you can carry a lot of stuff, man. Let's, let's make a guided kind of weapon thing, you know. Uh, aim 9Gs. I think this is glitchy, yeah, this is probably wrong, but let's check it out. Of course, aim 7s, down under you can take, uh, I don't know, 5 bombs. I mean, holy Jesus, this is going to be really heavy. Mavericks and the GBU, let's save it. I think it's going to be glitchy, let's see. But that's a freaking, ah yeah, the aim 9s should not be able to be carried uh, with the Mavericks. But the idea is here that you can t take for example, two GBU-8s together with six Mavericks and a lot of bombs and you still have the cannon. So yeah, just an amazing grounded strike aircraft. Uh, let's uh, see other stuff that were added. Uh, not a lot of aircraft to be honest. I think uh, it's still early days to talk about all the aircraft that has been added. Uh, but as you see, uh, we don't have it yet on the MiG-21, the custom loadout. Uh, but the F4s receive it uh, this little thing. Uh, I still think that the F4F should receive the M9L, uh, but still, uh, as you see, we can carry a lot of stuff here as well. You can carry, let's see, the Mavericks. Yeah, the Mavericks, you cannot take a lot of Mavericks, uh, but you can take bombs and stuff and still carry, I mean, these. Uh, let's take the, the AGM and then some rockets, for example. And yeah, you can do asymmetrical stuff, as you see. So yeah, the, 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 the custom loadouts are just being uh, implemented to more aircraft, which are amazing. And let's talk about Russia a little bit. Uh, yeah, the new aircraft. And as you see, the Sukhoi 17M4, the latest variant and the last variant of the Su-17 line. And just an amazing aircraft, uh, a little bit better than the M3 that we already have, the, like, as the Su-22, of course, being the 22 is the... Um, exported model and the 17 was the internal name uh, so yeah pretty amazing the main difference here is the ability to carry uh, TV guided weapons so yeah let's check it out uh, let's make one of these so yeah as you see we can carry the S25 which is a fairly uh, new missile the S25 O which is pretty good some M62 bombs which are always nice to have uh, but let's make a kind of like a a guided a bomb, a guided missile. Of course, they are 60s. 
targeting pod, you can carry the targeting pod for carrying the S23. As you see, we can carry the, the 23 there. Uh, more 60s. No, let's let's get some rockets here. Oh, the S13. Yes, yes. Finally, an aircraft with this missile, these rockets. And yes, man, look at this. You can carry the KH-29T, which is the best KH-29 of the game. More S-13s, our 60s, and let's gear, grab another KH-29, 25. And here we have one of the most effective air-to-ground weapons in the game. Amazing skin. Look at the skin in this baby, man. Just amazing. Amazing aircraft, and let's test it out a little bit. There's some bugs there, but let's take off with this aircraft. And yeah, guys, look at this. Uh, we have the TV. That's why we can use TV guided weaponry. So pretty amazing. And if I'm not mistaken, this aircraft could possibly take uh, in one of the pods uh, a TV pod that would make the aircraft actually use the H-29 like the, the big the um, And that would make the aircraft a little bit better at finding targets. And we will not have to use this uh, sighting system or this one for the missiles, you know. Uh, so yeah, this is not added yet, uh, but it doesn't matter. Let's try to use the, the rockets first because, I mean, S-13 is a super uh, super 17. I really want to see the Super 25, but I mean, they had to, they had to No, but yeah, I mean, the S13 man has a very large amount of TV, so it can be very effective at the targets. And as you see, you can actually lock uh, the target just by clicking it, uh, because I can do this with the, with the end, well, but let's try to do this. The main thing is that you can use the key to which is the best yeah, look at this. I locked. It's locked there, as you see. And the missile is fired. And it just fire forget, of course. And it just goes for the target. So, yeah, it's pretty, pretty amazing. Uh, let's try to get a lock with this. Uh, of course, you have this camera as well. You have the cannon is there as well, but yeah, just a, a very well-known aircraft used by many nations. I think Poland still uses them, and yeah, just an amazing, amazing aircraft. I'm so happy that this was uh, added. And uh, for you to remember, uh, it has 60 something flares, which are the same flares as the U.S. Retain, but there are some files showing that it should be carrying 120 with a second file uh, pod like that one in the back there. So yeah, it should have a little bit more of and stuff. And this is just a, a very amazing uh, aircraft that I'm really excited to find together with the, the F-14. And of course, uh, because the MiG-23 also received the custom loadouts, we can actually finally do this on the MiG-23 MLD, which will make it a little bit better. Uh, the MLD being able to carry the R24s. I still wanted they to add to the R60Ms. I mean, if Russia is not going to get anything a new aircraft, I think they should add it. Uh, but it's, I mean, come on, they're receiving the F14. I mean, they should receive the R60Ms. I mean, it's it's common sense, right? <laughs> uh, but yeah, the MLD now can you can carry whatever you want with it. As you see, it's a, a very good. Uh, uh, asymmetrical payload, uh, the MiG-23, the normal variants, of course the Germans ones as well, uh, but yeah, as you see, you can also carry, this I don't think it was, uh, in real life, you cannot do this, I think, in the, in the, in the, in the MiG-23M, but you can do it on War Thunder, you can actually choose, uh, one R-23R R and T variant, and you can actually use one of each, so pretty cool. Uh, and another thing that I want to talk about, of course, it's the MiG-27. 
Finally, this aircraft has this. I mean, it's just the most amazing thing ever. I mean, look at the payloads that we can take, man. KH-29T because it's the best missile, of course. Uh, FAB 500s, of course. Uh, let's put it the Cubs because I love the Cubs and another FAB. I mean, look at this payload, man. Look at this air-to-ground payload. This is just amazing, man. Look at this thing, man. Three FAB 500s, two Cub 500s and two KH-29s. And the best thing, of course, being that you can actually... Let's see the other options that we can see here. You can actually take the R60Ms over here. That is a thing that you cannot do it. Uh, oh no, I think you can. You cannot do it here, maybe. Yeah, you cannot do it here. So you can take uh, one pylon of R60Ms, for example, just to defend yourself. And then, you know, you can carry the other thing. So yeah, KH-29, two cubs and three FOB 500s together with two R60s still. So you can protect yourself. So, yeah, I mean, this is just amazing, man. Uh, let's take a look on the <coughs> M variant as well. Yeah, you can take the T variant, of course. Uh, you can take the R60s here as well, if you want to. And you can make another one like this. So, I mean, come on, man. This is just the most amazing thing ever. I really, I was really hoping that they added this, and they did, man. And it's just one of the most amazing things. It really is. Look at the payload on this thing. Just amazing, amazing. Uh, so yeah, Russia, J Russia apparently will receive some kind of new variant of the MiG-17. Uh, this is the MiG-17, probably the PF variant. Uh, it's called the Lim-5, so it would be the Polish variant, I think, uh, made in Polish. But I, it's a MiG-17P. Uh, MiG this is probably one of the most awaited aircraft by me. Uh, I've been waiting for this aircraft since 2000, I mean, since the MiG-17 came to the War, th to War Thunder, I've been waiting for an aircraft like this. I just hope it's added to the Soviet Union, and I just hope uh, it's not premium, but if it is, I'm going to get it, but if not, uh, I still, I, I just really love this version of the aircraft. It's so ugly because of the radar, and it has missiles and an afterburner, I mean, I, I it's just, I've been waiting a long time for this aircraft, so I hope they added this. And another thing that I talked about it, uh, the pylons, as you see, for the Su-17 uh, flares, you know. Uh, so, yeah, it should receive more flares if I'm not. And, of course, we're talking about everything in aviation. I'm going to make more videos on grounds and stuff like that. Uh, for the, the British, of course, we don't have anything. But, of course, as all the new um, F4s, uh, all the, the F4s in the game, you can actually... Uh, choose the loadout that you're carrying and stuff like that. So yeah, this is uh, a new addition for the um, for the for the, the, the all the phantoms. So pretty cool. Uh, Japan actually received a new thing, uh, which is pretty cool. Uh, finally, we have a good missile in the Kai. Uh, so yeah, now let's create another one. We can use the AIM-7F, uh, which is one of the most amazing missiles in the game right now. So yeah, finally we can have a proper, uh, I mean a better BVR missile in Kai v v F4, so that we can actually make a full use of this amazing radar that this aircraft have. Uh, such an amazing thing that they added. Of course, having as well as the other version of the F4, having the custom loadout, as I said, all the MiG-23s, all the F4s, and the, all the MiG-27s. Um, receive that okay uh, nothing for China uh, Italy I don't think it received anything France also I don't think it received anything uh, I mean I'm sorry but I'm going to make a proper video on the Milan itself so yeah keep an eye out I'm going to make a video on that okay um, I can actually fly it yes I forgot that I had the thing but yeah as you see pretty cool and he has the custom loadout, which is always some some cool stuff to have. Pretty cool. Uh, Sweden uh, didn't receive anything, uh, but and let's check. Yeah, neither these things. So basically, nothing for Sweden for now. Nothing that really matters. Uh, and for Israel as well, nothing that really matters. Uh, no, 
aircraft received the custom loadout only the F4 of course it's kinda glitchy right now as you see but it will receive it so yeah basically this is it for aircraft guys and yeah of course the main aircraft right now is the F14 don't expect this to be the final uh, list of aircraft uh, there's just like three aircraft new aircraft uh, but we are going to probably receive more aircraft in the upcoming dev servers and yeah just keep in mind that uh, remember uh, this was found in the files in just f like right now so yeah we will see more stuff okay so i hope you enjoyed and i see you guys on the next one bye guys